Darling, you. This is a sketchbook I'm filling out today. It is a moleskin watercolor notebook that has 60 pages, so front and back it'd be 120. And this sketchbook is 9 centimeters by 14 centimeters. So that differs a lot from the standard moleskin, which is 104 pages and it's 13 by 21 centimeters. So there is a difference between these two, but I'm gonna fill out the smaller one today because you know what? I can't do the larger one, I already know that. And if I do do the larger one, it's not gonna be quality and I won't get anything out of it. Um, so I'm gonna do the smaller one and try to do more quality illustrations. And some of y'all who are like, oh my god, this is cheating, do the larger sketchbook. I'll do a larger one eventually, but this is not cheating. Using the smaller sketchbook is not cheating, and I wouldn't be talking about cheating. I know what y'all do in your math test. Well, we're just gonna draw and have fun with it. So without further ado, let's get into the video, y'all. The first thing we need to do is unbox the little sketchbook, how fun. The plastic is so satisfying to unwrap, I love it. For the very first page, we have the in case lost, please return to, mm, who? Your mom. Your mom. And the reason why you would return it to your mom is because moms are just responsible in general. No shade, no hate. Most of these sketchbook pages came from like a Pinterest reference, but the first page and a couple others towards the end are from my imagination. The first one was about home and what that kind of means because I feel like I thought that moving to LA would make me a totally different person, that I would change, but I kind of brought my childhood with me to this new environment. It's not a terribly original idea or a concept, like it's been explored so many times before. It's so difficult to actually do like original pieces, I feel like. Now I'm going to go into a little Q&A moment. I'm going to do a lot of Q&As throughout these time lapses because I think they're just easier to fill in the time. Someone asked why I like drawing the most, and I would say faces. I think portraits are just so expressive in the emotion that shows on the person's face, but I think I'm too comfortable drawing faces and definitely need to explore like proportions and anatomy more to grow as an artist because there's so many ways you can express emotion through your body, like people with dances, and I really need to learn how to communicate that through art and not just a face because I feel like a lot of times we're so attracted to like, oh my god, like the face, the lips, etc., that we don't practice anything else. And to go down like a tunnel vision hole of just doing one thing for art can be, can be limiting in a sense. So I'm trying to get away from that. A common theme throughout the whole sketchbook was people. There weren't really animals or nature really throughout the sketchbook. I definitely unintentionally search for people references. I didn't notice that until you guys asked the question, but the whole sketchbook is just people. To give y'all a little update on how I'm doing right now, it's been an hour and I've only done three pages, so we're gonna speed it up a bit. But the pages look really good. I'm actually surprised in how well they look because I don't know, I just assumed they'd all be trash. But so far, I'm actually really happy with the pages. They're just taking way too long. I need to speed up and I don't know how. We'll see, we'll see. But this is, this is the little update for y'all. I said in my last video that I was going to try to talk a bit about motivation and how to draw consistently because sometimes we get those random bursts of inspiration and then we just draw a ton and then sometimes we get kind of like a drought, we get into art block. The most important thing to work on, and this is kind of just life in general I feel like, is to have discipline. So I literally just say I'm going to draw literally anything for just 10 minutes. I'm just going to sit down with a blank page and it can be really daunting looking at a blank page and so sometimes I just start out doing blind contours so I just look at a reference photo and just draw blind on the paper that way I don't feel any pressure to like draw well or do any of that stuff and so I start there and then I kind of slowly build up to things that inspire me but just setting aside time specifically to draw is like the most important thing. For lunch, I just made some pasta and had like tomato sauce and chicken. I've eaten pasta like seven days in a row now. It's a good healthy meal. I like it. The Italians love it, allegedly. Is that insensitive? I'm not sure. Is that assumption based in stereotypes that were ingrained to me from a young child with ratatouille? Uh, probably. So tell me in the comments if I should do better. Hashtag justice for Italians who don't like pasta. Someone asked any advice for sketching faces, and I don't feel like I'm qualified enough to actually give tips on sketching faces, but I always start out with the eyes, usually the left eye to the right eye, and then build everything out from there, which I'm not sure is the best way to do it, but that's honestly just how I digest the information when I'm looking at it. So I always start with the eye, then I go to the right eye, then I start with the nose, and then lips, and then I go to the eyebrows, and then do the face shape. I think if I could, I'd untrain myself to do that and then start by actually mapping out the proportions before I go into it, because a lot of my drawings don't actually look like the people I'm drawing, which is kind of the whole point of a reference, but I just literally cannot draw like a celebrity the way I want to. So I honestly can't give too many tips, but that's how I do it usually. 
Someone asked, how are you? How are you, bestie? I'm doing well, I'm doing pretty good. I low-key had like a mental breakdown yesterday because I was meeting my friend and I was like, hey, like we should totally meet up while I'm in LA. And she's like, oh my God, yeah. And so I stopped by and I hear like a huge party sounds outside. And I'm like, oh fuck, like this is literally a party. Like I thought she was just meeting a couple friends. So I knock on the door and then I kind of wait for a hot sec because I think like it's too loud to hear the knocking. And so I literally just wait in front of the door for five minutes. I'm just like, should I go in? Should I not? Like I really don't want to be in a party environment. Like I'm not a party person. And and eventually someone opens the door and like, hey, like, did you want to come in? And I was like, oh my god, yeah. And so then I go, I see my friend, like we say hi, blah, blah, blah. So at this point I say goodbye and I leave. So I'm going towards the door. I open the door and I kick a trash can over. And I can't close the door behind me because the trash can's in the way. So I had to pick up the trash from the ground, put it in the bin, and put the bin to the wall so I could actually close the door. And then literally, like, the group of girls who were watching me were just, like, laughing. And obviously, they weren't, like, laughing at me. Like, I'm not gonna take it personally, even though I did take it personally, and I was, like, really upset at myself. Um, <laughs> but I guess, like, they were just laughing at the situation. Also, they were probably under the influence, and so they were just laughing, having a good time anyways. And so for the next hour, I was just like thinking it over my head, like replaying it, and I think I cried. But I'm better now, so thank you for asking. We're currently going to a nail appointment, getting our nails did. What are you getting? Something beige, I probably don't know. Beige? Yeah, fun. <laughs> fun. Okay, bye. Look at, look how pretty they are. Look at how awesome they are. Hello. Hello. I don't know. It's currently 6.08. So for my sketchbook right now, we're doing pretty good. Better than I thought. I honestly like filled it out probably in a total of like five hours. I have a bit more to go, but like it shouldn't take longer than like another three hours, which is really surprising to me. I did like a lot of drawing and there's like a lot of filled in space with marker, but honestly, I'm pretty proud of the detail I put into it because each drawing is like its own little special fun thing. All the references were basically from Pinterest, bless Pinterest bless their soul. I put a little um, note about who made this specific art I reference at the like bottom corner or top corner of the page. Although I didn't do it for every page because I honestly forgot to. So if you know the artist, definitely let me know. But it's fun. Okay, goodbye. Another person asked, any beginner art tips? I would honestly just recommend drawing constantly. I know that's so redundant, but specifically draw things that are like cartoonish, that made you happy. Like I personally started out with cartoons and just redrawing Avatar The Last Airbender characters. And even though they weren't the best at first, I started to kind of learn proportions from there by looking at like the super simplified version of like a cartoon face. And then I slowly built my way up to more realism slash caricature stuff. Try to draw shapes consistently. Like sometimes I just fill out a whole sketchbook page of just random circles and lines. Practice cross hatching, shading, just the super basic stuff. Honestly, just follow like, a couple Mark Crilly tutorials and go from there. That's kind of what I did. I just watched Mark Crilly. I'm not sure if he's active on social media anymore, but his past videos were so good and his tutorials were super helpful. So I would possibly start there. I think I might try to make a tutorial soon, but honestly, I'm not qualified to make a tutorial, but some people want it, so I might do it. And for dinner, I was that stereotypical broke college student who ate ramen. I love it, it's literally the best, and it takes so quick to cook it. Now the nutritional value, mm, there is none. Not really any in it. But is it filling? Sure, sure, sure. I ended up finishing all the drawings around 3.40 a.m. Um, so it took me a while, but I was under the 24 hour mark by I think six hours. The whole thing took me 18 hours. And I got a manicure and I made food. 
So that was pretty good. That was pretty fun and fresh. I completed it. I did the challenge, period. And now we're going to go into a little sketchbook tour, y'all. This is a fun one. And so just sit back, relax, eat some popcorn, draw yourself. So without further ado, here is the entire sketchbook I filled out in the past 24 hours. That was the entire sketchbook, y'all. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, like the video. If you have a fun comment to share, a new challenge that you want me to try, any opinions, critiques, I'm open to everything and I respond to all of you guys because it's a small, tight-knit community here. And if you like me, my art, or want to follow my journey as an art student in LA, you can subscribe if you want. No pressure. It's a fun time here, though. And I think that's the end of the video, y'all. That's the end of the video.